Okay, I'm here to talk about sample selection in XY space using the Wacomb tablet. So what that means is selecting the start and end times of an audio file using the Wacomb, uh, the pen on the Wacomb tablet. Uh, so the start and end times of a loop. So I'm using the sample with time index and in this uh, I'm selecting the start and the end times of the file, audio file, using the pen and its location. So what that means, so if I start so it just starts pen down triggers that sample. But if I move up Okay, you get the idea. Um, what if we want to quantize that to a beat? Well, we can use our same example and then taking a drum sample uh, and utilizing and cutting that up into um, beats 16 here for this selection of our drum beat and then utilizing the duration as the same as our drum beat and cutting it up uh, differently but also to beats in this case we're dividing it by 64 we're gonna quantize the location of our X and Y grid on the Wacom tablet uh, for starting and ending and the trigger of the both samples is with the pen down so as I start and push down <laughs> Okay, but may I move it up here? Okay. Now, you notice that these are not independent. When I push the pen down, uh, it starts both the drum sample and uh, Beverly Hills Cop theme at the same time. So if we want to have these independent of each other, we're going to need a little cappy talk to help us out, which is right here. It has changed reset, uh, Cappy Talk, which basically saying uh, has changed reset of zero, so we're going to start at zero. And every time on the beat, once per beat, we're going to check for pen down. And when it when pen down uh, happens, then we're going to trigger one, and it will be only on the beat. And for the drums, we're going to just set a little toggle to start the drums. So here we go, drum start. So that just basically in every time it only starts on the beat uh, that is selection um, for this drum sample based upon its uh, quantized grid. And that's it. So sample selection in XY space using the Wacom tablet.